here's the one thing, you know, you, you started to bring up about egos and stuff. If you come here, you're going to be part of an unbelievable group. And I tell kids, if you walk in the gym and you're by far the best player in the gym, you're in the wrong gym. You want to go in a gym where there's a bunch of really good players and you got to fight your way through. You got to figure out your niche. It's not going to be given. You got to take what you want. That's why our kids go to that league and do well. I mean, they've made over $4 billion in contracts and not endorsements and all that. We're not even talking overseas. We've probably got 15 guys that have been overseas, but it's over 50. But they learn to fight. Here's the one thing John Wall. A guard would go up to him and say, I'm thinking about Kentucky. What are you thinking? He'd say, can you get your own shot? Because he's not running plays for you. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? If you're up in that league, they're not running plays for you. you got to go figure out the principles of playing. How do I put my nose in there? And How do I take minutes from this guy? How do I play on the next play? You think about playing here. Every game is someone else's Super Bowl. Every – Everyone, they have nothing to lose. We got to play that way. You know how hard that is when you're at Kentucky, where everybody wants you to win by 20 every single game? And if you don't win by 20, what's wrong? The defense stinks. The offense stinks. We should shoot more threes, less threes. Why can't we make free throws? We don't pass to each other. We dribble. Every game, the other team has nothing to lose. We now, I have to convince us we have nothing to lose. If you play this like it's life and death, you die a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you can't. You got to go on to the next play. You can't make it. I got to hit the lottery. <laughs> I, I, I told him this the other day. I got to hit the lottery. I got, you ain't hitting the lottery. You know, it's the lottery. The guy that walks in, I need some, some pack of cigs over. The, what? How much is it today? Here, take <laughs> yeah. my two. That dude wins. Yeah. That's who wins. And you got to be like, this stuff matters, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to play like I have nothing to lose. That's when players have fun. But it's hard here. You know, social media has made it even tougher. I mean, I don't mind them attacking me. I'm, you know, that's who I am. I've done this a long time. Fine. You know what I say? They say, blah, 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 blah. I, guess I agree with you. So can we move on now? <laughs> so, but to do it with a young person that's 19 or 20, Come on, could you imagine if you're just getting slammed and someone has it in for you and now they're on the social media and every week they're trying to, I mean, for the kids, I told them the other day too, I respect what you go through. Here's the other thing. I got a coaching staff. When you guys played, who would you talk to? One guy said, my dad. There's no one else. Yeah. Who, you have a bunch of people in you. Well, woo. Now you get AAU assistants and workouts and agents and the assistant agent and the high school coach and this guy and friends and fa uncle. Oh, he knows how to play and coach. <laughs> I mean, so now here are these guys having to deal with that when none of us that are 40 or older, we never dealt with that. Mm -hmm. So they've got to, you know, maneuver. Like I said, I respect players what they have to do now. Oh, yeah. And uh, you have one bad game every you think the world's ending. Yeah. I mean, every comment's about you, every, I mean, it's a lot to go through. Not to say I'm even in the same realm as what they go through, but, you know, you have to quantify the hate. It's like, okay, there's a certain number of people who just aren't going to be happy with things. Let's move on and let's play some basketball. And I, I used to tell my daughters when they were uh, uh, six and three, we'd be over the skating rink and on Wednesdays and when I was at UMass, we'd go to the skating rink and everybody would come up to me was so complimentary. And yeah. You're the best coach we've ever, you're the best. So I had to finally tell him, look, not everybody loves your dad. <laughs> I want you to know it is not the case. Uh, they know that now. Back then they weren't so sure.